Paris Fashion Week just wrapped up, and unfortunately, I missed all the fun. Or so I thought. In today's edition of the Paris Weekly, we'll explore why Fashion Week never really ends in Paris and where you can go to enjoy the fun of Fashion Week year round. Good morning, my friends. How are you doing today? So, for those who do not know, but most probably do, who are watching this, my birthday has just like finished. Um, I am a leap year baby, and so um, it was a, it's a leap year this year, so there's a huge celebration, of course. And my dad actually came from the United States and he came to Paris to celebrate my leap year birthday with me. And he just left. <laughs> but one of the things I didn't realize when he was booking is that it also, the same week he was going to be here is this was the same week as Paris Fashion Week. And I, as someone who loves fashion, I obviously love Fashion Week and I was totally kind of bummed to miss a lot of it. But then it occurred to me like, wait a second, Adriel, you live in Paris and in Paris, Paris Fashion Week is essentially a year round thing, right? Like it doesn't really end in Paris. Okay, so before I explain what I mean to that, I wanna tell you about an event I went to actually during last uh, Fashion Week that will kind of like help connect with what I mean by Fashion Week in Paris basically never ends. So last Fashion Week in, you know, earlier this, well, last year, <laughs> not this year, last year, um, in the fall of last year, I actually was invited to these events by Coffee Bluff Pictures. And the events were all about the quote unquote Battle of Versailles. And if you've never heard about the Battle of Versailles, it's actually essentially considered the very first Paris Fashion Week. So I'm gonna, this is, this is the movie, they did a documentary on it. It's called Versailles 73 and it's by Coffee Bluff Pictures and you can get this from them. And then there's also a book on it called The Battle of Versailles that was written by Robin Gavin. So basically, kind of the origins of the Battle of Versailles, what happened was that um, they were looking to, it was basically a fundraiser and it was meant, it was a fundraiser to raise funds for Versailles, which was literally falling apart at that time. And they were looking to basically raise money to restore Versailles. So what they did is they invited five American designers and then they had five French designers and they were going to kind of quote unquote compete in this fashion show. It was going to be like, whose fashion is better, American or French? And it is well known, well regarded that the Americans won. You think about that origin, what you learn is that you can see that, you know, when it all comes down to it, what resonates with people about fashion, about Fashion Week, it's, yes, there's an aspect of the pomp and the circumstance and all the, the, the you know, the, the hustle and bustle and craziness of it all, right, of these shows. However, when it all comes down to it, it's about the clothing, it's about the originality, it's about the design, it's about, you know, the simplicity, the uniqueness, and just the beauty of all of that. So that's why I say Fashion Week in Paris doesn't actually ever end. Fashion Week in Paris is a 365 day affair because in Paris, we have access to all of these things that really are kind of at the origins of what Fashion Week is about, you know, about the clothes, about the originality, about this beauty, we have access to all of those things all of the time, all year round. So yes, a couple times a year, there's the pomp and the circumstance and all of that, but everything that exists at its base level that really caused, you know, really led to the Americans' victory um, at this very first fashion show, or at this very first fashion week, um, that exists year round in Paris. And so today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take you along through, you know, Paris Fashion Week, but Paris Fashion Week as it exists 365 days of the year here in Paris. 
So one of the ways that I think you can enjoy Paris Fashion Week all year round is through the museums. And frankly, there are so many amazing fashion museums in Paris, and they always have rotating exhibits, and it's a really great way to, I think, immerse yourself in what is the kind of creativity, history, and kind of the archives of fashion that we all really enjoy, right? So our first stop is going to be the Musée Art and Decoratif because they are having an exhibit on sports and fashion. So if by this point you're saying to me, Adriel, you're missing the most important part of Fashion Week, it's the fashion shows, then clearly you have never sat at a Parisian cafe. I'm telling you right here now, that is the best fashion show in Paris, and you have a front row seat to some of the most stunning looks. And what's really fun is you're getting to see how individuals express the fashion. And the thing is, is that this is the best way to view fashion in Paris. This is, I think, one of the best reasons to go sit at a cafe. 365 days of the year, you can sit at a cafe and enjoy your own front row seat at a fashion show. So one of the last reasons I will say that Paris Fashion Week is basically a year-round event is because French fashion brands are always finding a way for us to connect. They're always finding a way for us to experience something new. Right now, we have this YSL bookstore. There are records in it, there are books. It's not just fashion. We're always finding like just new, original ways to kind of bring you into the fold and tell a story and I really believe that that is a large part of what Fashion Week is. It's about kind of creating a way to tell a story and a new and different way. So I just made it back home from the YSL um, the Paris bookstore, <laughs> the YSL bookstore. It was, it actually has really good deals on records and it is full of the kind of standard gratuitous nudity that you kind of see in, in France. It has like, <laughs> you know, a lot of record covers with like half naked women and whatever else. Um, it's a very interesting, it's very eclectic. I can see kind of like what their inspiration was and kind of what they're trying to do with it and kind of the creativity they're trying to kind of bring into the experience. Um, and I think though it would be nicer if they had like a little coffee shop or something in there so that you could like sit and chillax. But I don't know, like I don't know if this is meant to be a permanent thing or if it's temporary, but I just think it was really fun. And one thing I also want to note about being at the cafe is that I literally did not get to show y'all anywhere near all of the looks that walked past me. I mean, I'll be frank, some of the best looks I couldn't get because I was in the middle of eating that burger, which has given my tummy a little bit indigestion. Um, but it was, it was, uh, yeah, the looks were, were serving. I mean, the looks, the looks were serving. So, yes. <laughs> now, obviously, I know, like, what I've shown you probably isn't necessarily going to, like, scratch the itch if you just have always dreamed of going to a fashion show or whatnot. You know, I get that. But I do think that, you know, so much, you know, what, what, Paris Fashion Week is about, you know, just to go back to its origins. It was about the fashion, it's about, you know, the design and 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 the the clothes and the artistry and the beauty of that and um the art in that. And the great thing about Paris is that those things exist in the city on a daily basis. So, you know, if you're planning on coming to Paris and, you know, you can't go to Fashion Week, try doing some of 
these things that I did here. Go to a fashion museum, you know, sit at a cafe and watch, watch the fashionistas go by and just kind of enjoy uh, those, that, that little bit of a fashion week that exists all year round in Paris. And last but not least, a rant, because a Paris Weekly would never be complete without a side random rant. Okay, y'all, so I got a story for you, and I want your thoughts on this. So basically, this brand invited me to come to, they were like, hey, we're presenting our newest collection, in Paris, we're here until this day, you know, we'd love for you to come. And I said, oh, like, sounds cool. Like, I love to do that. Like, I love to shop collections in advance. So I go. <laughs> and, like, the Metro is running late, so I knew I was going to be about five minutes late. And I'm about to send a message saying, I'm going to be five minutes late. There's an issue with the Metro. When I get this message from them and they tell me, um, you know, we just had a last minute appointment show up. Can we actually reschedule your appointment for like essentially an hour and a half from from then, from like when I was on the train? So I'm on the train. I'm one stop away. So I basically pretend like I don't even see it because it's rude. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Paris Fashion Week outside of Fashion Week. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to reading your comments. Bye.